Hey to Zed, Domain to Genus here, and welcome to 11 Enlightenments. On this week's episode, Iguanodons. Iguanodons are a 10 to 13 meter sized vegetarian dinosaur which roamed the earth around 125 million years ago, mostly across what we now call Belgium, Britain and possibly the rest of Western Europe. The first Iguanodon fossil to be discovered was in Sussex, England, by a man named Gideon Mantell in the early 1820s. The fossil was an Iguanodon tooth. These teeth would be the subject of much controversy. Mantell tried to arrange them as those of a crocodile, whilst others wrote them off as an ancient rhinos, or those of a fish. The name Iguanodon comes from the word Iguana and the Greek Odon, meaning tooth, named after how the Iguanodons and Iguana's teeth look alike. However, Mantell's first specimen has been renamed Mantellodon, and moved to a unique genus. Because Iguanodon was the second named dinosaur, much like its predecessor Megalosaurus, it became a wastebasket taxon. Any similar fossils were named Iguanodon out of lack of options. There are currently two accepted Iguanodon species. The present type species that replaced Mantellodon was named Iguanodon bernisartensis by George Albert Boulanger in 1881. The species name derives from the mine's name in which the first specimens were found in 1878. The distinction of which fossils were true Iguanodon was not the only problem. Upon discovering a more complete skeleton in 1834, Mantell tried to reconstruct the creature. One of his mistakes was to place a horn upon the nose. This however was the modified thumb spike that both Mantellodon and Iguanodon possess. The purpose of the thumb spike though is not known. Some people believe it was a weapon, others that it helped grip branches like a panda. Some people think that the spike held venom, but this is widely rebuffed as the spike is not hollow and lacks the typical grooves for transmission. Another mistake of Mantell's was that Iguanodon walk on all fours. This was later amended to it walking on two legs with the 1878 discovery but later amended again in the late 20th century to a creature that could shift between the two states, preferring to walk on all fours as it became older. Though several juvenile iguanodon fossils have been discovered, they are not often found in large iguanodon fossil beds. This may mean that iguanodons were solitary creatures, or that they did not raise their young, though other larger dinosaurs did. Iguanodons are also not like their namesake. Modern iguanas are not closely related to the dinosaur, and it's estimated that the genetic split of their paths happened some 250 million years ago, during the late Permian era. And with that, this has been 11 Enlightenments. See you next time.